Hello, you know that f times delta t is a quantity called impulse which can be equated to the change in momentum. What about f times delta s? Does it have any physical meaning? To answer that question, let's consider a mass m being put along by a constant force f. And because of this force, the speed of the mass changed from u to v after traveling a distance of delta s. Since it's a constant force, the mass must be accelerating at a constant rate. Therefore, we can use the equation of motion v squared goes to u squared plus 2as. Something tells me that I should multiply half m to both sides of the equation. So I get half mv squared is half mu squared plus this term here. The two can be cancelled away and leaving us with ma delta s. m times a is of course the constant force f. Rearrange the equation and we get f times delta s is half mv squared minus half mu squared. Aha! This is the line that provides the inspiration for us to formulate the relationship between work and energy. F times delta S is going to be called the work done by the force F. And half M times the speed square is going to be the formula for the kinetic energy. When a force F acts on a mass, the amount of energy injected by the force F can be calculated by F times delta S. This is called doing work on the mass. In this case, the work done has gone into increasing the kinetic energy of the mass. And under our formulation, the kinetic energy should be given the formula half times M times the speed squared. So now you know why it is half mv squared and not say half mv cubed. Okay, ta-ta!